everyone welcome back to my channel if you have not like and subscribe the channel please like and subscribe the channel in this video i'm going to show you the new which is actually microsoft uh, intune which provides uh, uh, to control the managed home screen i hope you already seen uh, my video thumbnail uh, about this managed home screen so in this video i'm going to show you how microsoft and samsung has have come together again to announce a new experience that 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 had been built uh, to deliver the best uh, user experience possible uh, for for Android mobile devices. I mean, especially for um, Samsung mobile devices. So as of now, today, uh, as being as IT administrator, administrator can use managed home screen right to replace the default launcher on your Samsung Android devices and to configure their user experience right uh, uh, mhs can be used on intune enroll corporate on dedicated devices right so <coughs> you see here there are uh, multiple method uh, enrollment is there like so these devices can be shared among workers and dedicated to specific tasks such as the productivity tools the managed home screen is actually designed to surface only the application and device settings that are needed to allow administrator to enforce consistent set of user experience. The benefit for this full functionality of managed home screen permission, which is granted by the IT, need to be accepted by the users during the device setup. So you see here, if you have not, uh, if you have a Samsung device using co co company owned devices, you will see this uh, managed home screen if you are controlling and the user user have to grant permissions to use that so how you can suppress that permissions so this new integration between intune and samsung knox uh, enable it admins to grant necessary permissions which is actually this is required automatically to managed home screens without any end user interactions and this this will streamline the the user setup experience by removing the need for the workers to accept these permissions whether grant to to use that so managed home screen also support this microsoft entra shared devices board which provides easy single sign in and sign out experience of the application so how we can simplify the secure this will also simplify and secure the setup process for managed home screen on corporate on dedicated devices so you see corporate on dedicated devices <coughs> so if you are uh, uh, corporate on dedicated ensure that user will able to access apps and setting that need to be needed on their own devices without being distracted confused or frustrated right so with this integrations actually uh, we'll gonna so say you how you can high level steps how you can configure this first understand we gonna do this through through the oem config policies and so if you are not aware what is oem config you can always go to the microsoft site so this i will just briefly read these uh, first two lines which is actually OEM config policies are a special type of uh, device configuration policies similar to app configuration policies like uh, that is actually related to the OEM specific standard like if you if the device is from Samsung it is uh, the application or you you're doing for the like if the device is from Zebra it has to be from the Sony type so this is the brief overview so what you have to do you have to go to the devices first you have to publish this application make sure you have made the prerequisites and you have to uh, <coughs> you have to approve these applications or add this application manage play store application sam's knox service plugin and then go to the devices once you publish that applications then you go to the android and then click on the configurations right here here you can create on new policies and select the android enterprise and here under here you have to select the oem config i have already told you what is actually oem config 
you can always go through this one and read that select create new OEM config put OEM config here Samsung OEM config right for home screen right HMS you can put uh, anything whatever you want to give you have to select this Knox service plugin as I mentioned you have to publish this application then only it will show so OEM config will be Knox service plugin because it has been built for the Samsung click on next and it will open the configuration designer you can if you have export on JSON you can also select JSON I'm selecting configuration designer and then you can put the profile name Knox version Knox license key you have to put the license key here or you have to put the profile name like Knox profile you can give at birth your debug mode if you want to enable separate app policies you if you want to configure device wide policy yes so this is what we want to configure click on configure and enable devices policy it has to be true and then you can configure all these devices control admin allow listing you see here device decisions right so if you go to here you'll see application management policy so enable first you have to enable the device policy so I think we have enabled true and then application management policy here enable application mo um, management policy it has to be true and then and then you can see here the package name application allow list the package name right you can add the setting here package name blacklist allow list right so there are many options are there so I'll, I will see you what I, I will actually only tell you what actually permission you need so once you go to this here enable application management control <coughs> okay it's set true and then go to the top okay and then permissions here let me find the permissions not here so it has so many options right so yeah enable permission control true right and then <coughs> you can give a name right you can also add the settings here click on next right and then define the scope and assign it the one thing I think I have um, I'm missing about this permission control which actually I'm not able to find it I think it's under the device control no this is not a not device control application management no permission control after enabling the permission control there should be an option admin whitelisting device resistance device settings firmware update let me see what is no, no, this is not there let me go to here the main and then <laughs> permission control 
so what is say the use of context menu add and reorder okay so this is how actually you configure it i think under the device control you have to be permission controls like the add setting where we can add this is settings here under the permission control oh yeah here so once you click on the permission control you can click on add setting and then you can here you can select appear on top whatever you can add alarm and reminder for package or the component name and you can add the package name as well here right package name should be com dot microsoft dot l a u m l a u m c h e r launcher dot enterprise so you can you can give the permission whatever permission you want to do, change system setting notification access data access whatever you want to do you can do it i just appear on top and allow and reminder and then select next on the second oh sorry <coughs> you can move up and move down again you have to add the permissions right for another package for the notification access right so we go to the main and click on device control no not the device control not the device control enable permission control okay enable per add settings one more setting you see here under the permission control so these are actually it's not required device control is also not required this one is also not required so we just need permission control the first one we have already configured second one uh, you, know, you can just select the notification access right and the package name should be let me copy for the quick for you okay so this is the package name right. i will just put this link and it save it so we have added two permissions here for knock service plugin and you can add setting from here so you have to give the profile name and and the key and then you can configure the the profile here and then you can add the permissions okay click next you can if you have scope you can apply it to the devices and next click on next so now we have created one oem config profile which is actually for samsung so let's open that and you see here so we have given a permission configurations one for the notification access one for this one and the package name is like this one so now the once the uh, your your user will they will they will access this application on the managed home screen through this one they won't get any notifications because we sub suppress this application so this is actually automatically uh, grant the permissions for your managed home screens that's why we have applied the oem config to learn more about this how you can control the oem config how to use the oem config on managed uh, android enterprise devices within tune you can always refer to this microsoft article to more learn more okay i hope you learn how you can configure this oem config profile and how you can uh, use that to manage your home screen for the sam your samsung nox devices Till then, thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.